Good. Trip. Trip, trip, trip. Kennel. Good. Good boy. So as soon as I call him again, vibrate on. He kennels, vibrate, shuts off. Good boy. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we are back for another trip video. This is his second day of collar conditioning for place training, which is his second day of collar conditioning all the way around. If you didn't watch his first video, you need to go back and watch that first to show how we introduce the collar. Um, but I want to show you the progressions. Progressions are huge. It's really easy to go, oh, this is kind of how you start it, and then magically they're done. We want to be able to show you progressions, which is why we show real training sessions live and each individual piece with no gaps in between. So to start off with him, um, I'm going to warm him up like I would do any training session. We are just focusing on place training today. Okay, come on. Good. Trip. Good boy. Kennel. Hey. Trip. So this is something we saw in the tail end of his last session. The um, utilizing collar conditioning kind of put him in a little bit of a state of I don't really want to do this um, because it was a big challenge for his brain. This is the differences looking at different breeds. Trip is an English cocker. We primarily work with versatile dogs. Those dogs typically have, in the higher mental fortitude standpoint, less bothers them, more bothers these guys, which is also why he's older. I think if I would, I'll look exactly, but he's pretty close to eight months old and this is when we're starting color conditioning because this is kind of the only time that we've really started to need it as opposed to with short hairs, we start at a lot earlier age because they're more independent. So here, good, kennel. So we're gonna warm him up, help him start thinking training. Good, good boy, there you go, here. Good, kennel. No, sir. And he's looking to I can go in here, get a drink of water, or I can be done with a training session. And part of this can be building engagement, and part of this can be kind of just helping work things through them and show them, this is not a bad thing, this is just the next level. And I think it's easy to look at from a training standpoint that sometimes in the development process as we move out of the fun puppy zone of things, there are stages that are you kind of have to do this, and then as you get good at it, you will be able to move forward. So we're gonna move into this next drop. I'm just going to utilize Vibrate again on the collar and help him. Here, good, kennel, good boy. So Vibrate turned on, I got down, I helped direct him, and then shut off as soon as he got onto the platform. Good boy, okay. He showed it already that he knows pretty well what that means. We got hanging out at the cameraman here. Hey, 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 come on. I want you guys to be able to see his reactions. Trip. Trip, trip, trip. Trip, 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 trip. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, so we'll do another rep here. Vibrate on. Trip, trip, trip. Right here. Kennel. Good. That's a good boy. If your dog is showing similar things at home, that's not abnormal, okay? It's, it's new. It's different. And he is... Um, it's okay for him to have this reaction. The key is that you know how to work through it. Another handful of reps, maybe two more training sessions, and you're gonna see a totally different dog that's completely comfortable with the process. Good. Good, come on. Yeah, you like the loves. Kennel, good. Vibrate, turn back on here. Kennel, good boy. So it was on, he got on the platform, he cruised past, which is something that he's kind of doing. He's crated there during the day. He knows where he can go once sessions are done and things, and that's kind of what he's looking for, a little bit of an escape. Um, continue feeding your dog through the process if they're willing to eat. Good. Do you want one? There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah? Good. Trip. Trip, trip, trip. Kennel? Good. Good boy. So as soon as I call him again, vibrate on. He kennels. Vibrate shuts off. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Vibrate's on. Trip. Kennel? Good boy. Good boy. There you go. You can see we're getting a really good response to this. Though he is a little bit subdued from his normal self, he's working through it well. Good. And it's, it's part of why it's important. Trip. Vibrates on. Kennel. It's important why it's, it's important to keep your sessions short. Work through a handful of reps. Good boy. Vibrates on. Kennel. You can see how quickly this is working though, right? He gets it. He understands. Good boy. Okay. One more time. Kennel. Good. There you go. There you go. I want to see. This is an evaluation for me. Um, Kennel. I see that he is doing really well with this. And I think we're on the cusp of him kind of breaking over into just understanding this is it. Um, each dog's going to be a little bit different. Good. Okay. Trip. Vibrates on again. Just checking things along the wall. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on. He is stuck to dust in the cameraman. Come here. Good. Kennel. Good boy. So vibrate stood on the whole time. He checked the wall, checked some things. I helped a little bit more getting down. Came all the way back to the platform. So I think this is a really good place to stop for him. This is another session that challenged him, but fell into the realm of things that he can do. As we continue to grow, you have to think about how can we continue to challenge our dogs because a little bit of stress and a little bit of challenge is the only way that they're going to truly grow. It's a, it's a requirement of growth. If you look at, we talk about this a lot of times in seminars and things like that, but if you look at how everything in life grows, one prime example would be muscles. When you stress muscles, they break down just a little bit and then they grow back stronger. If you push too hard, the muscle breaks and it takes a very long time to heal. So we're not in the zone of pushing to breaking. That is not at all um, the line that we want to dance. We want to be in the zone though to challenge enough that, that we can actually see growth. So it's a great second session for color conditioning in place. We'll probably do in the vicinity of two to three more sessions of this for him. And then we'll move into collar conditioning for recall, which will be a very important part because he is very close to going down to the ranch to start flushing birds in front of pointers and reliable recall when he's getting to chase birds and have fun is huge. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Trip. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.